Hey everyone, it's Corey McCarthy and thank you for tuning in. Uh, sorry I've been away, I had an upper respiratory infection so I wasn't able to produce a video last week. I wasn't really able to talk too well. I'm only just now kind of coming back from that. Uh, but hey, here I am. And uh, this video is going to look at a cool researched benefit of adding cherries to your diet. What? What did you think this video was going to be about? I came across a paper published in the journal Experimental Gerontology which sought to evaluate the effect of consuming cherries on cortisol levels, 5-HIAA levels, and mood. Twice per day for five days, researchers had 30 study participants, 10 of whom were aged between 20 and 30 years, another 10 were aged between 35 and 55 years, and 10 more were aged between 65 and 85 years, consume a cherry extract containing 1,580 milligrams of phenols, 2 milligrams of tryptophan, 27 nanograms of serotonin, and 16 nanograms of melatonin. This extract was equivalent to 18 cherries, or 36 cherries per day. Then for an additional five days, the study participants were given a placebo. The researchers measured the participants' cortisol and 5-HIAA acid levels, and they also analyzed their moods. On days that the subjects were provided the cherry extract, cortisol levels were reduced. The subjects also felt less nervous, fretful, and tense. Furthermore, the subjects experienced an increase in serotonin levels. However, these results were most notable in the 35 to 85 age range. The 20 to 30 year olds did not experience as dramatic an effect from consuming the cherry extract. Now, I am left to wonder why the researchers didn't just use whole food cherries in this study. I assume that they wanted to ensure a particular intake of a specific component found in cherries, but that is uh, just my assumption. Uh, this was a university study and I couldn't find uh, any mention of uh, funding from the extracts manufacturer, but that doesn't mean that the study didn't receive funding from Herte Valley. I just couldn't find the money trail myself. Regardless, cherries are a healthful food containing dietary carbohydrates, fiber as well as vitamins A and C, plus calcium and iron, and numerous compounds such as antioxidative anthocyanins. In fact, the extract used in the study contained 1,580 milligrams of the phenolic compounds found in cherries. Ergo, regardless of whether or not Herte Valley funded this study in some manner, it doesn't negate the health benefits of cherry consumption. And as I mentioned before, that study used the equivalent of 36 cherries per day. 36 cherries only contain 154 calories, so consuming them shouldn't break your diet unless, of course, you're keto. Keep in mind, as we age, our cortisol levels naturally increase. And having higher cortisol levels can come with a myriad nasty side effects, such as weight gain, reduced healing ability, strength loss, fatigue, mood swings, high blood pressure, and more. Not to mention reduced serum testosterone levels. Which is no bueno for the primary demographic that watch this channel. So cherries are an amazing food to add to your diet to improve our uh, overall health and uh, quality of life, especially as you age. So, come on. Why not get to pop in some cherries? Anyway, leave your thoughts and comments below, and don't forget to like and share this video if you found it interesting and or helpful. Uh, your interaction really helps this channel. And don't forget to subscribe if you have not already, and press the bell button for notifications, uh, and check back here weekly. All three avenues will help ensure that you do not miss any new content from me. Furthermore, check out the video description for links to my products and services, as well as my affiliate links such as Amazon, and my Patreon and Subscribestar pages, uh, and other ways that you can show your support to me and my channel if you genuinely enjoy and get use from what I provide here. Uh, that support means a whole lot. And that includes picking up any one of my science-based training and nutrition ebooks that I offer, which can help you get results like those seen on my clients pictured here. And don't forget to check out my latest ebook, The Right to Bear Arms, which will attack your guns in a strategic and scientifically sound manner, with the potential to double their growth over the course of 12 weeks, compared to a more conventional training approach, as supported by human research. That ebook, as well as the others, are all linked below in the description. Uh, thank you all for your continued support, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.